Hey everybody, what's going on? It is me, Heroic Bricks, and for the first time in a while, I am back with another Top 10 video, but this time, instead of doing Top 10 minifigures, I am deciding to move on to the overall sets. So, in this video, I'm obviously going to be looking over the Top 10 LEGO Marvel Super Hero sets, starting all the way back from 2012 up until today. And, uh, I gotta say, most of these sets are from like the first few years. I don't really have any sets on this list aside from one that's actually from the past like two years because most of the sets these days are just really really bad in my opinion. But I'm not going to let that stop me because we've had almost seven years of really great sets and uh, I compiled them all into a final top ten. So uh, if you guys are excited for this definitely leave a like. And uh, definitely a big disclaimer, this is just my opinion. Uh, I, if you guys have a completely different uh, like all-time favorite or top 10 favorite Marvel sets, that's completely fine. I don't really care. But uh, this is just my opinion. But uh, you know, leave a comment down below telling me, uh, telling me your guys' favorite uh, Marvel set. So it's going to be kind of laid back. <laughs> Um, but I do have 10 sets that I definitely want to talk about. Um, just mostly, this is all just based off of my personal preference. I don't really have any criteria going into this. So, uh, without further ado, let's just get right into it. Starting off our list at number 10, we have the 6866 Wolverine's Chopper Showdown. This set has 201 pieces and it retailed for $19.99 back when it came out, and this set came out all the way back in 2012, making this one of the first Marvel sets that ever came out. So this set was released along with the wave of the first Avengers movie sets, so we had the four sets from that movie, and then plus uh, Wolverine's Chopper Showdown. So, uh, you know, that was a pretty great wave back in 2012. Um, and this set... I just, I love Purely because it was one of the first superhero sets I got, and for 20 bucks, it was a great deal. You got three minifigures in this set, uh, which were Wolverine, Magneto, and Deadpool. So, uh, this set is actually pretty, uh, not, it's not, well, it is kind of rare now because, you know, the set came out seven years ago, but it makes the set pretty, uh, cool to have because you know I still have the Deadpool figure I still have Magneto and Wolverine like they're all in perfect condition so uh, I have seen this set go for go for a pretty good resale value uh, of maybe like two to three four times the price even sometimes I know that the Deadpool figure is actually pretty valuable going for like 40 50 bucks uh, nowadays which is uh, pretty crazy but, uh, you know, aside from the figures in the set, we got a nice motorcycle for Wolverine, and we have Deadpool's chopper. Uh, you know, nothing really too interesting about the chopper, but, you know, it was a nice little thing to include in the set. And, uh, you know, we don't, we're not getting, like, $20 sets like these, like these nowadays. Um, we're mostly getting sets that should be $15, but are retail for $20, and the $20 sets are now, like, $25, $30. So, I don't know, it's interesting to see how times have changed, but I mostly kept uh, this set on the list because I just love I just love it for like the pure nostalgia factor and the fact that it's one of the first superhero sets that I ever bought. At number 9, we have the 76015 Doc Ock Truck Heist from 2014. This set has 237 pieces and it retailed for $19.99 when this set came out, and uh... Honestly, this is like a really, really simple set, honestly, but I still really love it because Spider-Man is one of my favorite, Spider-Man is my favorite Marvel character, and I just, I really love the set back when it came out, and, uh, you know, it was, for 20 bucks, it was a great deal, you got Spider-Man, uh, you got a really nice Doc Ock minifigure, and you just got like a standard, uh, policeman, or, you know, guard, because it's like a bank truck, but, uh, it's still really interesting, I just... Not interesting, but, you know, I just, I like the set. It has, like, a nice, you know, oh, this is, like, a really, really comic book type set. This isn't based off of Ultimate Spider-Man, like, most of the Spider-Man sets that we got leading up to this point. But, um, it was definitely nice, you know, just to have, like, a purely comic book Spider-Man set. Because I love, like, the Spider-Man from the 2012 to, like, 2016 sets that we were getting. 
uh, and this Doc Ock figure is my favorite Doc Ock figure, and it's, uh, <laughs> I still have it up on my display of, like, other figures that I have, and the bank truck was really, really nicely designed, and then you got, like, a little street lamp buildable thing over there in the corner, but, uh, you know, still really cool. For 20 bucks, this is a great, great deal, so that's, uh, pretty much all I really have to say about this set, um, and this did come out in, like, early 2014, um, so there were a few other sets that came out in that wave, but honestly, this was the best among them. And number eight, we have the 76032, the Avengers Quinjet City Chase, uh, from 2015. This set has 722 pieces, and it retailed for $79.99, so for 80 bucks, um, it, it, it was kind of like a big price point it was a nice chunk of change back in 2015 and uh in case you guys can't tell this set was from the avengers age of ultron line and uh looking back on that movie four years later um i still think that age of ultron is just okay uh, i don't hate it but i don't love it at the same time but i will admit the sets for this movie were pretty great um i got almost all the sets for this movie i never picked up the avengers tower um, but I did get the other five sets in the wave, and this was honestly the best one in my opinion. Um, the set comes with five minifigures. You have Captain America, Vision, Black Widow, Iron Man, and Ultimate Ultron, and this is from, like, one of the coolest set pieces of the movie, where they're going, uh, they have, like, the big truck chase in South Korea. Um, you have Black Widow and Hawkeye up in the Quinjet and stuff chasing, uh, the truck <laughs> so i don't know i really do like this set uh the quinjet is a really cool design um although it's nowhere near the uh the 2012 design for the quinjet uh the 2012 quinjet from the first avengers movie is my favorite quinjet the legos made and uh i will say you know the figure selection in the set is nice um it has a really nice build the truck isn't really anything special um but you know the figures were great and yeah the uh the Quinjet itself was really nicely designed. So, uh, honestly, that's really all I have to say about uh, the Quinjet. Moving along to number 7, we have the 76051, the Superhero Airport Battle. It has 807 pieces, and this set retailed for $79.99. And this set came out in 2016, and it was a part of the Captain America Civil War line of sets. Now... I, I did buy all four sets of the movie because there was a fourth one released later that year, but uh, the three sets that came out at the time, this was obviously the best one, um, and this set has a lot to offer. Uh, it had has six minifigures, uh, one trophy figure, and then Giant Man, obviously, but the minifigures that you got were Iron Man, War Machine, Captain America, the Winter Soldier, Scarlet Witch and uh, Sharon Carter, Agent 13 is what they called her in the set, even though she wasn't here in the actual scene in the movie, uh, because it was mostly just based off of concept art, and uh, everything in this set is actually pretty well designed. Uh, I know some people don't like the Quinjet in this set, but I thought it was fine. Um, it's obviously a much more like compact version of the Quinjet, and I will say it's, it's, I don't say it's bad, but it's the worst out of like the three three that we've gotten like the three major ones based off of mcu movies this is definitely the worst but uh i still think it's really nicely designed uh, i like the airport tower in the background giant man is my favorite part of the set um and i thought it was just really cool and the minifigure selection in the set was great and i remember back in 2016 uh when these sets first got leaked um and there were the rumors going around that, like, oh, uh, Ant-Man's gonna become, like, Giant Man in this movie. And I remember when the set leaked, it caused kind of, like, a small outcry because people were complaining that these sets were spoiling the movie before uh, it even came out. But, uh, honestly, I didn't care. I knew it was coming anyway. So, uh, <laughs> I, still, I still really like this set. And I remember I did do a review of this set back in 2016. So, if you guys want to watch, uh, go and watch that video. Uh, you can find it on my channel. Um, granted, the quality isn't very good, and honestly, it hasn't really changed much. <laughs> but, uh, you know, go and check that out, because that was one of my favorite uh, superhero sets from 2016. 
And number six, we have the 76021, the Milano Spaceship Rescue. This set has 665 pieces, and back in 2014 when the set was released, it retailed for $74.99. And for $75, bucks, uh, it was also another pretty big, uh, big chunk of cash that you kind of had to throw at it. But honestly, I thought it was worth it. Um, obviously, this is uh, from the first Guardians of the Galaxy line of sets back from summer of 2014. And I absolutely love this set. Um, I will say the one negative thing that I have to say about the set is that the color scheme on the Milano is slightly inaccurate. But that is because the set was based on concept art. So in some forms, this... The Milano was probably uh, blue and yellow, or blue and a lighter orange instead of like the regular, just kind of standard shade of orange that you're kind of used to seeing. But they did fix that with the 2017 Milano, but uh, I still think this is the superior design for the Milano. Um, you know, it was pretty big, um, but still not like, you know, full to minifigure scale. You know, it just had to be kind of big enough to like put all the minifigures in. And I do remember this set had a full interior. Uh, you could put, you could fit all the figures in there except for uh, Groot, but like you could have the rest of the Guardians in there. And then this set came with five great minifigures. We had Star Lord, Drax, Gamora, um, a Sakaran soldier, I believe is what they were called. And uh, we had Ronan the Accuser, the big bad of the movie. And, uh, you know, I really do like this set. I remember, uh, I, I didn't buy this set when it first came out. I remember I got it. This is like a Christmas gift that year, and uh, you know I just remember having a fun time building the set, and uh, I just I love everything about it, and I love Guardians of the Galaxy. It's one of my favorite MCU movies. It's like top five. So uh, that's pretty much all I uh, all I have to say about it. Starting off the second half of this list at number five, we have the seven six zero two two, the X Men versus the Sentinel set. This set has three hundred and sixty. 336 pieces, I'm sorry, and it retailed for $49.99 when the set came out back in 2014. Now, this set kind of came out in spring, I think. It was either uh, early 2014 or like spring 2014. I think it was spring uh, because this movie came out, or this set came out around the time that X Men Days of Future Past went to theaters, and X Men Days of Future Past is honestly probably in like my top five favorite marvel movies like ever and that's like uh that's like all marvel movies in general like sam raimi spider-man uh x-men mcu um <laughs> so that's it like in general i love days of future past and this set came out kind of like right before the movie did and it was like the comic version of the you know the general premise of what 20 of what Days of Future Past is going to be like, you know, you have the X-Men fighting the Sentinels, and, uh, I really like this set. It came with four great figures. We got Wolverine in a new variant, uh, instead of the blue and yellow outfit, we got the, uh, yellow and brown, which I also kind of like that outfit, maybe a little bit more than the blue, uh, it, I don't know, it just depends on the, <laughs> on the time of day. <laughs> I don't know, I like both equally. And then we got Cyclops, who isn't really that great of a figure. We got Storm, who's awesome, and we got a new variant of Magneto, which isn't as good as the 2012 version, but, you know, it's alright. And then we did get a fully, like, brick-built Sentinel, and we got the Blackbird, or the X-Jet, whatever you want to call it. But, um, you know, the Sentinel, I actually love that, I love that Sentinel so much, I have it on my shelf right above me. And uh, the Blackbird, I still have intact. It's just downstairs in my basement with all my other uh, old sets. But this set was so cool. And honestly, I think this is probably my favorite set of 2014 for Marvel. Um, because, you know, it was so cool to get, like, another X-Men set. Because, you know, you got Spider-Man, you got Avengers. So, and that was pretty much how it was going for the first couple of years. But then uh, we finally got another X-Men set two years later. And I was thinking, oh man, I think it would be so awesome if LEGO went ahead and made like more X-Men sets. And now that Disney owns the rights to Fox and that 
in a few years down the line, we'll get more X-Men movies, and I think that's when LEGO will finally start making more X-Men sets. Although, I wouldn't mind if they made some more in the meantime, you know, purely based off the comics, because I just think LEGO can make so much money off of that, because I'm sick of having Spider-Man and Avengers, like, all the time now. That's all we're getting, and some Fantastic Four sets wouldn't be that bad either. But... I've been ranting for long enough, <laughs> and this video is already going to be long enough as it is, so that is going to be it for number five. And number four, we have the 6869 Quinjet Aerial Battle Set. This set had 735 pieces, and it retailed for $69.99, and this set came out back in 2012. And for 70 bucks, I thought this was actually a pretty good deal for the time. Um, because like, cause like I just said, the set came out in 2012. This was one of the sets for the very first Avengers movie, and this was one of the first Marvel sets to ever come out. And it's always been one of my favorites, and I think it always will be, because if LEGO keeps up their current like state of mind when it comes to the Marvel sets, like we've seen Endgame, we've seen the Endgame sets, we've seen the Captain Marvel sets, they haven't exactly redeemed themselves, but they did have a nice change of pace for the far from home sets but the marvel sets just suck now they absolutely suck and uh you know looking back at these old sets has really made me miss the way things were and the quinjet from 2012 is absolutely amazing you got five figures in the set you got iron man in the mark 7 suit you got thor loki black widow and a chitauri so it was super cool, and uh, in the set piece in the Battle of New York, that whole sequence, uh, Loki has like his little chariot uh, that's included in this set, and then we have a really nice Quinjet design that has like a full interior. There's three, there's like three or four parts to the interior, uh, if I remember correctly. You had like two cockpits, uh, and then you had like a little back area. But uh, I still have this Quinjet intact. It's down in my basement. And I never want to take this thing apart because it is just that dang good. And uh, everything in this set, honestly, is really well designed. And uh, this is probably my favorite superhero set in general, like including the DC sets because we didn't really get a whole lot that year. But, uh, you know, just talking about DC sets or DC and Marvel sets, like in general, uh, this was probably my favorite of 2012, and I think it's probably the best one, objectively speaking. But, this set is just so great, and I have nothing to say, but posi I have nothing but positive things to say about it. So, I absolutely love this set, so let's get in to the top three. Starting off for the top three, we have the 76108 Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown. This set has 1,004 pieces, and the set retails for $99.99. Now, for $100, bucks, it is obviously a huge chunk of change out of your pocket if you want to buy this set, but I'm pretty sure since this set is a year old, considering the set came out last year, you might be able to find it for a lower price. Um, sometimes I think Walmart might have it on clearance. Don't quote me on that. But, uh, you know... The set is over a year old at this point, so I'm pretty sure you should be able to find some good deals on this set, uh, even online especially. But uh, this is the only set on this list that has come out in the past couple of years. Um, this was like this is like the the last good set in my opinion. The rest of the Infinity War sets were fine, but I really do think this one is good, and. Uh, to give you guys a little more info about the set, I even did a review of this set back when it came out last year, so if you guys want to go and check it out, uh, it's on my channel. But this set had five awesome figures. You got Iron Man in the Mark 50, you got the Iron Spider suit, you got Doctor Strange, you got Ebony Maw and Call Obsidian, all from Avengers Infinity War. And this set is taken pretty much directly from that whole scene in the movie. Um, the like the Peter Parker's like apartment half not really so much but is it's nice to have something else other than just a full on like Sanctum Sanctorum but uh this set was awesome uh you know you have the Sanctum Sanctorum a much better version of the set than the one we got in 2016 in my opinion but 
uh, you know, you, you got, like, the actual front of the building, you have that, like, iconic, uh, like, window, uh, kind of, like, on the roof, or the side of the roof, or the top floor, but, uh, <laughs> it's really cool, and, uh, you can actually fold the two buildings, uh, into, like, one massive block, and it actually blends pretty well with some of the other modular building sets, so if you guys do have, like, a Lego City under construction, or if you guys have a Lego City that you're building or working on, this is a great piece to pick up because you can fold the two buildings in together. Or if you want to leave them as, like, a corner piece, that works great, too, so you have, like, a corner. But, uh, you got a whole bunch of accessories in the set for all the figures. You got some nice set pieces here and there. Uh, it's kind of like a little play set. Uh, there's, like, six major rooms if I remember correctly, and then you have uh, the little corner with like the newspaper stand, which also has a Lego Daredevil Easter egg, so I don't know if we'll ever get a Daredevil figure, like an official one, because uh, I do have a custom, but it's not as good. <laughs> but uh, I really do love this set, and honestly, if you guys are a Lego superheroes fan, if you're a Lego Marvel fan, uh, you need to pick this set up. So that is going to be it for number three. For the runner-up, we have the 76042 The Shield Helicarrier set. This set has 2,996 pieces, and the set retails for, or it retailed back in the day for $349.99. So $350 bucks for this beast of a Lego set. And uh, I, this is a UCS set, um, and I almost wasn't going to include it in this list just because it's a UCS set. But honestly, it is one of the best Marvel sets, and the rest of them that I was considering just don't really, they just don't match up, honestly, to any of the other sets in this list. Um, so I don't know. I decided to, I, I decided to keep it in uh, because I think it does deserve a spot on this list. This is a really cool Marvel set, and uh, I feel like this is kind of a mix between the comics and the movies, although it's leaning more towards the movies. Um, but yeah, the Shield Helicarrier is awesome. And for like, f for 350 bucks, yeah, that's a very, very big price point. Um, I never bought this set, and honestly, I don't know if I ever will. Maybe eventually, but just not like right now for, for like the foreseeable future. For the foreseeable future, I just, I don't see myself picking this set up. But this set had five minifigures. You had Captain America, Black Widow, Hawkeye, Nick Fury, and Maria Hill. And then you also got a whole bunch of little trophy figures for, I think, Captain America, Iron Man, Hawkeye, Nick Fury, and then, uh, I don't know if Black Widow had one or not, but then you also got a bunch of other, like, S.H.I.E.L.D. agent trophy figures. Um, so it was pretty cool. So, you know, it's a big set, but it's not built to minifigure scale because that would be way too big. So they just had a whole bunch of little trophy figures. And then there's little, like, jet builds that you can place all along. There's a whole bunch of extra details that you can place all over the helicarrier. And like I said, uh, I do want to get this set eventually. But back in 2015 when this set came out, like, oh my god, like 350 bucks was a lot to ask for. But I do think that the set is somewhat reasonably priced. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the number two. So this is the runner-up, and surprisingly not the best set in my opinion. So before I reveal the number one spot, or the number one set for LEGO Marvel, I do have four honorable mentions that you know I think are also uh, noteworthy. And that is the Tanker Truck Showdown from 2016. That's the fourth Captain America Civil War set. And then the second one is the Spider-Man Daily Bugle Showdown from 2013. The third is the Ant-Man Final Battle set from 2015. And the last honorable mention that I want to talk about is the Milano versus the Obelisk from 2017. I think all these sets... Uh, you know, could have been on this list, and they were ones that I was considering, and, uh, but ultimately, in my opinion, they just didn't make the final cut, but I still thought that they were, uh, noteworthy enough to mention. So, I think without a further ado, 
let's get in to the number one set. The number one set, in my opinion, for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes is the 76057 Spider-Man Web Warriors Ultimate Bridge Battle. This set has 1,092 pieces, this set retails for $99.99, and this set came out in 2016. Now, for 100 bucks, it was kind of a big uh, price point, but honestly, I thought it was worth it. You get seven great figures uh, in the set. You get Spider-Man, you have Ben Riley, Scarlet Spider, you get Spider-Girl, Aunt May, a really good Green Goblin minifigure, and then for the first times, or for the first time ever, you have Kraven and Scorpion. Now, I'm pretty sure Scorpion came out in a Mighty Micro, like, right after this set, but, uh, you know, I don't really count those as actual sets, so, <laughs> uh, it was awesome to get Scorpion and Kraven in an actual set and in my opinion this is my all-time favorite uh, Lego Marvel superhero set because spider-man is my favorite Marvel character ever I think he has one of the best rogues gallery in all of comics um, Batman takes the cake for me but spider-man is like the number two but uh, you got a really really nice uh, bridge build and I actually still have this set on my shelf and that's what I use to display all my spider-man figures and uh, it's up on my <laughs> high shelf I'm looking at it right now but uh, this set was great and then I remember I've been seeing I've seen this a couple times over the past couple of years but people have actually bought uh, a second one of these sets so they bought two of them and then like combined the ends to have like a long bridge and it looks really cool, and uh, I think that's just like great additional playability. Obviously, they had to probably spend another hundred bucks, like right around the time when the set came out. But I thought the set was great. You had so much playability. Uh, you could put figures everywhere, um, and then just purely for the fact that you know we got like some really really great figures. Like, I never thought that we'd ever get, like, a Ben Riley Scarlet Spider or uh, Spider Girl from the Ultimate Comics. Um, <laughs> I just, I don't know. I, I really do love this set, and honestly, if you guys have not bought this set, I highly recommend that you do, because I've seen people sell this for less than 100 bucks on Bricklink, like, brand new sealed. So, the set's, like great <laughs> i just i love it so much and uh i have nothing to say but positive things about it i just i love the playability with this set i love that little section of the bridge that you can pop out and you have like the taxi uh about to go overboard but it's being like held up by a web and uh the playability at the end of the bridge you have like the street signs you can like flip a minifigure off with a garbage can little mechanism right there and it's just great and I remember this set came out during Brick Fair in 2016, and I almost bought it, but I really needed money for the rest of the convention, uh, for all the places we went out to eat and all the stuff we did. So, uh, I did get this set shortly after, though. I never did a review on it, um, but, you know, I don't really regret it, honestly. I just kind of like getting sets sometimes and then just kind of building them and not worry about having to make a video. But... That is going to do it for this top 10 list, so let's get into the closing of this video. Alright everybody, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I do plan on doing one of these videos for DC sets, but that probably won't happen until later this year. Um, I realize some of you might be tired. Um, because of like just Marvel videos because that's really all I've been doing for the past like couple of months um, nothing really new or noteworthy has been happening for like Lego DC so that's why I haven't really done anything um, although uh, there is a new Batman set coming out next week and I do plan on picking that up and reviewing it for you guys but I do also have two more Marvel videos planned uh, one should be out later this week and then uh, I do have the uh, Lego Spider-Man Far From Home minifigure collection video coming. So uh, I have all the figures I need. I just need to record the video. So I'm going to wait a little while to do that. But uh, until then, uh, 
I don't really have anything else. Uh, aside from that Batman set, I do plan on picking up a couple of the new Harry Potter sets. Um, not all the new ones coming, but uh, some of them, definitely. Um, but I think with all that out of the way, that's going to do it. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on this video. Leave a comment letting me know what your favorite LEGO Marvel set is. And then uh, follow me on all my social media platforms. Links are down in the description below. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.